All right, are you serious? Get a Bible, King James Version. I'm going to be reading from Revelation chapter 11. Also, get a cup of coffee, and I want to thank you for your prayers. I was wore out last night, and I uh, actually had to end this show a half hour early. But I feel much better. I'm refreshed. Just got a good night's sleep. I feel better this morning. What? Are you serious? Revelation chapter 11. And let me just say right now, last night, sir, uh, Sunday night live broadcast, every Sunday night from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at PaulBegleyProphecy.com, BlogTV, Livestream.com, and on Blog Talk Radio. The first two hours of that are on Blog Talk Radio every Sunday night. But last night, 15 salvations, 15 people accepting Christ as their Savior, 31 people rededicating their life to God, and we had one person saved Sunday morning at our church at Community Gospel Baptist Church, and one person rededicating and coming for baptism out of Michigan in two weeks. So God did, a, it was a great day, 17 salvations, uh, of 16 salvations yesterday, 16 salvations, and we give God all the glory as it's the power of the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Christ. Now, let's go to Revelation 11. The timing's unbelievable on this chapter with all the events going on around the world. Uh, so let me read now, if you will. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months, or three and a half years. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over the waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and send, shall send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. 
and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before God on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and thou shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth, and the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there was lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. We're living in the days of the soon coming rise of the beast, the new world order, the one world government, the two witnesses will be called and shall show up on the streets of Jerusalem and they will preach the fiery message of faith and repentance and they will heal the sick and raise the dead and they'll stop the heavens of rain and turn the water into blood. They will literally say to the people of the earth, repent, 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 for soon the coming king is about to emerge on the scene and praise God. God have glory. It will be a time like never seen before. Are you saved? Are you saved? Are you saved? I'm here to tell you right now, it's time to give our lives to Jesus Christ. It's time to give our lives to Jesus Christ. If you want to be part of the bride that's caught up forever to be with the Lord, if you want to escape the outpouring of the wrath of God upon the earth, if you want to go to heaven and hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant, and live in the joy and the peace and the glory of God, then give your life to Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. You can send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel. Go to the message page and send a private message. Title it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll respond to you. We'll help you. Like we said, 16 salvations yesterday. But today is your day to be saved.